I'm Dr. Erica, and today we're going to be looking at our Light Up Bronte add-on activity to our Squishy Circuits Lab. Now, in the Squishy Circuits Lab, Rosie Research is helping the Museum of Modern Art make multiple sculptures that we can light up. And one of the pictures that shows up in the lab is a brontosaurus that lights up. And my daughter, she loves dinosaurs, so I thought it would be sort of fun to make this a little theme and make a little dinosaur, a light up dinosaur off of paper. Because even if we're learning how to do something with Play-Doh, it's always helpful to also do it with some other thing to help you sort of learn it again. So we have wiring diagrams at the top, which tells you how to wire the front and the back. It's fairly simple. You have a long piece of copper tape that goes down on each side, and then the LEDs just tape into that long piece. Now, if you watched our video about parallel and series circuits, you could look at this and you could see that each LED is going to be holding hands with just the battery. They're not necessarily holding hands with each other, they're connected to each other through the battery. So these are actually in parallel, which is great news because if you hook one of the LEDs up backwards, then it's not going to kill your whole circuit. The other two or three or how many ever LEDs you put in will still work. So the first part you want to do is you're going to cut out this Bronte, which I have already done for you. And it gives you actually an idea of where you want to put copper tape. So we're going to put copper tape on the front right along here. And the copper tape, if you don't have any, you can get it typically at a gardening store or a Home Depot type of a place. And they might not know it necessarily right off the bat as a, an electrical component, but they do know it in the gardening department. So copper, slugs refuse to cross copper. And so a lot of gardeners, it's sort of their secret trick to keeping the slugs at bay. So if you can't find it at sort of a Radio Shack type of a place, definitely check your Home Depot and see what you find there. Now, as you're wiring this up, it doesn't need to be super pretty. The copper tape isn't going to sort of curve. You can't really stretch it. Like you can sometimes stretch other types of tape, like electrical tape. So just keep that in mind. As long as when you change the directions, it's always touching itself. So you have a nice long line of copper tape going down. I'm going to do the same thing on the back. And then on the back, I'm actually going to go down to one of the feet. So it has on this on the front, it has a little blue spot, which is where I'm going to put my battery at. And so on the back, I'm going to have it come down here and wrap around so that the battery can touch that piece. And that's what will help complete my circuit. And it's kind of fun. There's also a switch on this circuit, which is kind of fun to look at with your kids. And so as we do the back side, you can also start thinking about what sorts of colors would you want on your light up Bronte? Do you want all the spines to light up the same? Do you want them to all be different colors? You can find rainbow LEDs that are really fun to do. So you can start thinking about how many spines you want to light up. We're only gonna do three today, um, but you can also always do more. So this is the piece that's going down the leg and then it's just going to wrap around like that. So now I have a piece here. And so when I put my battery in, I can take this tail piece and I can touch it right there, which is very handy. So now we're gonna put in our LEDs. Now, if you want all of them to light up each time, you need to make sure that you put the long leg of the LED on either the front or the back each time. So remember LEDs, they're one-way streets. They're like a slide. When the electrons slide down that slide, they make light, yippee! And we can go down the slide, just like we do at a playground, and we don't go up the slide. So the electrons don't make light when they go up the slide. So you wanna make sure that the long leg is on the same side of your light up Bronte. I'm going to put it on the front side for myself today. And so each time you add an LED, you just tape the legs down, which is kind of nice. You want to tape them down with the copper tape. And sometimes you get, it's a little harder to get really good connection on these. One way that you can get better connection is if you actually tape both sides of the leg. So if I tape, the inside of the leg, and then I tape down on that. That can sometimes improve that. So let's see, let's add in this piece, and we'll tape it down on the front, like this. 
And then we'll also have to tape it down on the back. Otherwise it won't be fully working. So there it is on the back. And you want to press down really good so everything makes really good contact. It's one of the things you might have a little trouble with if one of the pieces lights up and the other one doesn't. That can happen. When I did this, I definitely had to sort of try a few times to get it all to work and lit up. All right, so here's another LED. I'm going to put the green one in the middle. And again, you want to press down as firmly as you can on that. And let's see. Here. And as long as the pieces are making contact with that strip that you put earlier, you're going to be totally okay. So you want somehow for that tape to make contact with the strip. And then we have the last one. Now you'll notice the legs are touching each other in the wires. So I could take a path of the wire and go down one of the legs and up the, um, to the other one. But I can also follow that path for each leg straight to the battery. And that's what makes them in parallel instead of in series. So in series, they wouldn't be, they would just be, um, the backs wouldn't also be connected. So you'd have sort of a daisy chain, a long leg to a short leg to a long leg to a short leg, and they'd be holding hands together instead of here where they're sort of all clipped into the same two lines that go to the battery. All right, so now is our chance to test it. So once I put this all in, we're going to put our battery in here, just on the bottom of the leg, like that. And I should be able to flip this over. Now you'll see one of them, two of them light up, the green and the yellow sort of light up. And so the blue one, we're going to have to, you have to sort of press on them to try to make them work. Sometimes it just takes a little bit more. Sometimes you got to twist them. It just takes a little bit of, and that's part of that reason is because they're not making really good contact. And that's something that you can try to work on. You can add the tape to the inside of the legs if you want to, or you could add more tape and see if that helps. You can try switching it around. You can try testing your LEDs. But this is our light up Bronte activity, and it's sort of fun. You can glue, you can hot glue the battery in so it stays if you want to. Just make sure that it's still making contact on the bottom piece with this piece of tape right there. Um, and then your kids can sort of take it wherever they go. So that's our fun Light Up Bronte activity. We have lots of add-on activities this month with our Squishy Circuits Lab. We've got lightsabers, we've got the Light Up Bronte, we've got glowing animals. So there's a lot of fun for you guys to have all month long working with circuits and working with lighting things up and playing with circuits. Um, you can also follow all of our fun activities on Facebook and Instagram, and you can follow our labs by becoming a patron on Patreon. Thanks so much for joining us today, and we hope that you'll enjoy the activity.